afternoon our listener welcome on our video today uh we request you to subscribe to our channel question number one uh explain explain mika's prophecy about messiah you get six marks uh, the messiah would be born in bethlehem number two he would rule over israel next his origin is from the old ancient days next he will be born of a woman next he will feed his flock and next he will rule in the majesty power of god in his name israel will be secure he shall be great to the ends of the earth and then israel will be israel will have victory over her enemy there will be peace in israel b state the event that took place on the night when jesus was born that is luke chapter 2 uh, from 6 to 20. mary the mother of jesus wrapped him in swaddling clothes next he laid him in a mega next there were shep shepherds watching over their flocks next an angel of lord appeared to the shepherds next the angel of the lord appeared to the shepherds i thought to explain the events that took place on the night when jesus was born uh, you can write us a comment down there uh, comment about anything next a multitude of angels appeared singing praises to god next the chef fans hurried to see the baby at bethlehem next the chef fans spread the news to many people next the chef fans sang and praised god over uh, god after they had seen baby jesus the chef fans sang and praise God after they and seen a baby Jesus. Next, the shepherds returned to the homes. Next, give seven reasons Christians present gifts to a newly born baby. Christians give gifts in order to welcome the baby into the family or world. Next, it is a sign of their love that is contribution the baby's welfare next it is a way of appreciating the gift of life that is blessings next it is it is a way of thanking god or appreciating his goodness next it is a form of congratulating the mother or the parents next it is an expression of their joy next it is a way of emulating bible or uh, it's a way of emulating biblical practices so here you are told to give reasons why christians present gifts to the newly born babies why do you think they do so you can write us a comment down there and uh, learners who will watch this video will see your comment by the way if you have not liked this video I like it down there so we have outlined the instructions that jesus gave to the 72 disciples when he sent them on a mission that is luke chapter 10 from uh, 1 to 12 you get seven marks the disciples were to pray for more laborers to be sent for harvest two the disciples were not to carry any parcel bag or saddles uh, these were the, the instructions given to the 72 disciples when they were sent when they were sent by Jesus on a mission, told them that uh, they should pray for more laborers to be sent for the harvest. Next, the disciples were not to carry 
in a parcel or bag or saddles. Uh, that is what uh, those are the instructions they were given. Um, we go to the next. They were not to salute anyone on the road. They were to say peace to any house they entered. They were to remain in the same house, not to go from house to house. They were to eat, drink whatever was provided. They were to heal the sick. They were to heal the people that the law, the kingdom of God, and uh, uh, they were to tell the people that the kingdom of God and come near. Next, they were to uh, wipe off their dust on their feet against the people if not received. So these are the instructions that uh, 72 disciples were given by Jesus when he sent them on a mission. Uh, you can see them here. They were not to salute anyone. Uh, they were to say peace to any house they entered. They were to remain in the same house, not to go from one house to house. They were to eat, drink whatever was provided. They were to heal the sick. They were to tell the people that the kingdom of God has come near. And then they were to wipe off their dust uh, against the people who did not receive them. Next we have identified the reasons that made Judas is, is carried to betray Jesus. chapter 22 47 to 53 greed for money eh, possessions and that greed for money of for possession next it was god's will for the fulfillment of the scripture to be realized next judas was unable to overcome or conquer the power of the evil he was tempted by satan next he was looking for fame, recognition. Next, he was an he was unhappy. He was unhappy with Jesus' activities. Next, he was an informer of Jewish religious leaders. Next, he was expecting a political Messiah. Yet, Jesus was spiritual Messiah. Eh? These are the reasons why, or reasons that meant uh, Judas is carried to betray Jesus. Eh? Remember, he was a close ally, close friend, but he betrayed Jesus. Next, give um, seven reasons why Jesus appeared to his disciples after resurrection. Why did he appear before? his disciples after he resurrected number one he wanted to strengthen their faith but two so as to conf uh, to comfort them next in order to uh, empower them to serve next he wanted to reassure them that he was the messiah next he wanted to reassure them that he was the messiah we have read that one so as to co commission them to be his witness. Next, he wanted to tell them about the coming, about the coming of the Holy Spirit. And this is the reason why, or reasons why, Jesus appeared to his disciples after resurrection. Wanted to strengthen their faith so as to comfort them, in order to empower them to serve. 
he wanted to reassure them that he was the messiah and next so as to commission them to be his witness next he wanted to tell them about the coming of the holy spirit uh we are requesting you to write us a comment down there if you have not uh, written one you can also write a point that maybe we have left out uh, we request you also to like this video and uh, we shall appreciate we have this other one uh, the reason why jesus appeared after resurrection we have so as to bless them he wanted to bless them next one in order to confirm to them that the old testament prophecies and been and been fulfilled next he wanted to confirm to them that he was alive and he had power over death next he wanted to represent he, he wanted to re, uh, represent to them the correct interpretation of the suffering messiah and uh, that as the scripture says so these are so many reasons that we have written here for you uh, so that you cannot um, you cannot fail uh, if this question will be brought in your exam that is cases kcse or any other exam we believe that you will be able uh, to get everything we have given you enough points and uh, if there is a point that you have left out uh, we request you to write it down in the comment section uh, so that uh, student will see that and they will also benefit from you next we have give seven uh, reasons why jesus sent the holy spirit to the disciples after his accession you get seven marks why did he send holy spirit after he ascended to heaven number one the holy spirit would comfort the disciples but two it was to co uh, counsel the disciples next he would guide the disciples on what is right that is uh, god's righteousness the next he was to convict people on their sins next he he was to remind the disciples of what jesus had taught and uh, this is the reason why he sent the holy spirit after he ascended to heaven and uh, holy spirit would comfort the disciples and uh, he was to counsel the disciples you would guide the disciples on what is right and then he was to convict people of their sins then he was to remind the disciples of what jesus hand taught them um we are through with this video and uh, we want to thank you for watching up to the end and uh, we request you to kindly subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed uh, we also request you to write us a comment down there in the comment section and also like this video and we shall appreciate uh we are through until next time